that's better. So in previous entries, I spoke about the tarot in general, and then I jumped ahead a little bit and started speaking about uh, the Fool card, which is one of the major arcana. Now I want to take a step back and talk about the minor arcana. The minor arcana are in many ways the, the bulk of the, the everyday practicality of the tarot. It's not to say the major arcana are spiritual and the minor arcana are not, but that they deal with two different kinds of spiritual phenomena. One is the spiritual phenomena of the, the path of, of spiritual transformation and the other is the phenomenon of spirituality in the everyday balance of your life. The minor arcana have to do with that everyday balance. The minor arcana regulate the question of the, the four elements. There are four suits in the minor arcana. Usually these are uh, coins or pentacles, swords, cups, and staves or wands. And these four suits correspond to the four different classical elements. The coins or the pentacles are the earth element, the swords are the air element, the cups are the water element, and the wands are the fire element. This isn't very helpful in and of itself, but when you understand that these aren't meant to be elements in, in the sense of chemistry, but rather they're meant to be the four components of your universal being, then you understand that these suits are talking about four different parts, four different dimensions of you, four different dimensions of your, of your consciousness. The earth element corresponds to the material. So it's tied to your physical well-being, your conditions and standard of living, your finances, your health in the physical sense. The air element, the swords, corresponds to your intellectual dimension, your thoughts, your plans, your ideas, your daydreams, and, uh, and your ego. As well as your mental fears and frustrations and angers. The cups correspond to your emotional self, including your, the way you deal with emotional phenomena your emotional dreams and aspirations, um, your emotional fears, the way you relate to and, and communicate with other human beings, your romantic life, mm, your family life, and also your, your intuition or your, your inner perspective of yourself. And the fire element, the wands, corresponds to your energetic self. And the energetic self encompasses both your, your physical energy, your willpower, and your determination as far as your goals are concerned, where you're directing your attention, where you're directing your energy, the effort you're putting into things or failing to put into things. So these are the four, the four different levels, the four different dimensions of, of regular existence. And 
when you have these elements in a balance, that's when you create a harmony that allows you to progress spiritually. When these elements are out of balance, either individually or because of the, the proportion of acceptance you give to one or the other, then you're not in a state of balance, you're not in a state of harmony, and you become spiritually stuck. So the two ways you can get these elements out of balance are first, if one of these elements within itself is unbalanced, you're directing the energy of that element either in the wrong way or not enough, or in, in, a, in a direction that is, that is going to be unnatural for you. If you're putting your energetic effort into something that is, that is not functioning, or you're wasting your energy, or if your emotions are sweeping you away, taking over from you, and you're not able to feel at peace with your emotions, or if your intellect is running at a mile a minute and you're not uh, under control of your, of, your, of your ego and of your mind. Or if your material situation is in balance, your physical body is unhealthy or your, um, your material stability is threatened, then these are the ways that these elements become unbalanced within themselves. And then on the other hand, the amount of priority we put or the amount of connection we feel to these elements can mean that the harmony between the four elements are unbalanced. So that if you are mainly an intellectual being, you're focused in the head, you're just one big giant head and you, you're not paying attention to your body, you're maybe rejecting your body because you have body issues or you're rejecting your heart, you're afraid of connecting to your emotions or you're rejecting your energy. Or if you're an emotional person and you haven't connected to your inner discipline or you haven't connected to the potential of your mind or you're not caring for your body because of these emotional issues, any time you put too much attention on any one element, you're going to uh, disconnect from the other elements. So the whole purpose and what the tarot shows is that you have to put all four elements into balance individually and into harmony with each other. And when you do that, then you're able to uh, create a situation where you can stably work on the spiritual path. So how does the tarot teach about how to create this balance? Well, you find this in the number cards of each suit and in the court cards of each suit. These numbers and these court cards, the court cards are the, the princess, the prince, the, the king and the queen, or the knight and the queen, or however you want to put it. Uh, they will show a kind of instruction and they can also be used as a tool for self-inquiry to see where your balance lies. And in the next installment of these, these lectures, I'm going to talk a little bit about this kind of numerology of the tarot and how it works in terms of laying out the different states of balance and harmony.